this lesson I want to talk about estimating and what I mean by that is you can do a calculation on your calculator or on paper but what we can do is we can round numbers to make the calculations easier and basically we can see if the answer is reasonable or if it's a bit silly and then if we notice by estimating that it's a little bit silly we know that we can do the calculation again because we've made a mistake. So that's the point in this and this does come up in exams as well. So now I want to do some examples of estimating. So remember in one of the earlier videos I showed you how to round numbers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to round this up to 40. I guess the second digit's a 6. I can round this other one down to 40. And this one here will round up to 40. That works out well. Forty times forty is one thousand six hundred divided by forty is forty. So that's an estimate of that. But if you do it on the calculator you won't get the same answer and that's just because it's just an estimate. Okay. So now I want to do the same idea here. I'm going to round these to the nearest 10 and do the calculation. So 62 to the nearest 10 would be 60. 55, well if it's a 5 we always round up. We could round down but the rule says that we we'll round up. And we'll have to stick to the same rule because then things would get messed up. And it would confuse people. Now notice here I've got, by rounding, I've got 60 squared minus 60 squared. And we know that that would be zero. Right? So this, what we're estimating is zero. But actually it isn't zero if you do it in your calculator so you might want to do that right because these are quite tricky it's not going to be very accurate but i'm going to round these to the nearest hundred just to make it easy so 412 to the nearest hundred is 300 458 to the nearest hundred is 500 multiply I've got 150,000. This isn't terribly good, some of these estimates, but it's on the exams, so it has to be covered. But I agree, and sometimes it is a little bit daft. Now I'm just rounding these again. I'm rounding 8, 78 to the nearest 10, which is 80. I'm going to round 63 to the nearest 10, which is 60. Now you should know how to round numbers to nearest 10 if you're watching this video. If you don't, you might want to remind yourself by watching me of a video. Okay. Now, 80 minus 60 is 20. 20 times 40. Is Okay, so I just want to let you know now, these estimates aren't terribly good, right, but they come up on exam papers, it can be confusing to people where they should round the numbers to and exactly what they want to do, because if you work these out on the calculator, that's not correct, that's not correct, that's not correct. 
Okay, if I start. They're just rough estimates, okay? And sometimes the estimates are very poor. They're not always very accurate. But you just have to prove to the examiners that you know how to do it really. <laughs> 